Hi, and welcome back to Hardware Unboxed. I'm your host, Matt, and today we're gonna be taking a look at how much memory or RAM your gaming rig needs to deliver optimal performance in all of the latest titles. Recently, I've noticed a lot of discussion regarding system memory and many gamers are now suggesting that 16 gigabytes is the new minimum or standard configuration. For the most part, I recommend friends go with 8 gigabytes of memory and only go up to 16 gigabytes if they have the money to spare. As after all, it's not a huge investment these days, even when talking about DDR4. Still, I was interested to see what kind of impact the memory capacities had on typical modern high-end gaming systems. The platform of choice today was the Intel LGA 1150 using a Core i5-4690K processor. To help keep the results consistent and remove any system bottlenecks at the same time, the 4690K was overclocked and locked at 4GHz with features such as Turbo Boost and Speed Step disabled. For the GPU, we went with the mighty GeForce GTX 980 Ti and testing was conducted at 4K. The same DDR3-2400 memory was used in each test and the exact same memory timings were also used. I'm most interested to see if there's any difference between using 8GB and 16GB of memory, but just for the hell of it, I went with a 4GB single channel configuration as well. Rather than go with a completely fresh installation of Windows, we decided it was better to use an operating system that has been pre-lived in. Granted, Windows 10 hasn't been out for very long, but my personal gaming system has a heap of applications and of course games already installed. When testing, I had Firefox and Chrome open in the background, each with half a dozen tabs open. My email client Thunderbird was also open, along with a few Excel and Word documents. All told, with 16GB of memory installed, the system was consuming 4.8GB of memory before any gaming had even started. It's also worth mentioning that the page file was enabled while testing and the Samsung SSD 850 Pro 2TB was the storage device of choice. First up, we have Grand Theft Auto 5, and the results are very surprising. All three memory configurations saw an average of 41 frames per second at 4K. The minimum frame rates were also much the same. The 4GB configuration dropped just a single frame when compared to the 8GB and 16GB configurations. The frame time data doesn't reveal anything new either. All three memory configurations allowed for roughly the same frame time performance. So now for the really boring part. The next 21 games all show very much the same performance trends as Grand Theft Auto V. Rather than make you sit through another 21 slides where I say the same things over and over again, I'll quickly skip through them. If you want to study any of the results in detail, just hit pause and please note that I'll include a timestamp index in the video description below. Well, those results are very boring and quite surprising if I'm honest. While I didn't expect to see any difference between using 8GB and 16GB of memory for gaming, I was very surprised to see that running just 4GB of memory made little to no difference. In fact, when gaming, I honestly couldn't tell the difference between using an individual 4GB stick in single channel opposed to two 4GB modules running in dual channel for an 8GB capacity. As far as I could tell, level load times are also very much the same though that could be in part due to the Samsung SSD. 
It would be interesting to run these tests again using a mechanical hard drive, but how many gamers worried about getting the most out of their rig are honestly still using spinning discs? For those wondering, I did also try testing at lower resolutions such as 1080p and the results were the same. As expected, they were also the same when using a slower GPU such as the GeForce GTX 960. Despite the evidence, I strongly recommend gamers install at least 8GB of memory in their systems. Starting at just $40 for a kit with two 4GB modules, it doesn't make sense to use anything less. Of course, if you can afford to spend a little extra and get a 16GB kit, then by all means do so. But for those on a tight budget, that $40 to $50 would certainly provide much more performance when invested in a better GPU, for example. Thanks for tuning into Hardware Unbox. This has been your host, Matt. Let me know what you think in the comments. Hit like, hit subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Yeah.